issues of life TV. journey of gratitude so gratitude series and today we're going to be looking at gratitude and your identity gratitude and your identity the benefits of gratitude how when we are grateful for who God is for what God has done for us what God has made us made available unto us how God sees us the value that he has put so much on us then we'll be able to be able to change the perspective of who we are and to change who we see ourselves to be so you might be asking yourself oh what is it who am i i don't even think i have any value or any worth or maybe based on what you have heard over time or what people have said to you or based on what you might have been through but i have good news for you because the bible has so many things that it says concerning you many things that god has said concerning you true is what so let's go into the word of god according to ephesians chapter 1 Ephesians chapter 1 and we're going to start from verse 3 and it says praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessings in Christ so we see here that God is telling us that we have been blessed we have been blessed with spiritual blessings you listening to me there there are spiritual blessings available unto you you might be asking what are spiritual blessings so let's read further and it says in verse 4 for he chose us meaning you are chosen in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight even before you were created so now you listening to me even before you were created you have been set apart you have been bought with a price yes you you are not a mistake you are not an accident you are selected and hand-picked the circumstances in which you came to this world does not matter the fact remains that you happen to be here and it takes a lot for you know a sperm to make with an egg to bring about conception and for that pregnancy to go through and bring about the baby coming out and think about you living through various diseases that could have happened to you and yet you are you're still alive it's not a mistake it's not a coincidence it's because god has selected and handpicked you and you are not a mistake and then verse 4 it says you are predestined it predestined us for adoption to sonship meaning you are adopted through jesus to the God's own son or daughter because God, because of God's good pleasure it's not because of what you have done it's not because of what you are going to do it's not because of the things that you are about to do it is based on the fact that God just decided to do it why? because of his love because he is love because God is love so you know so, so nothing can change that identity because as long as you remain in God and then he continue on in verse 5 through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasures and will all this world has been made available to you through Jesus Christ so this is something that has been done even before the creation of the world God has gone like it was it was the ahead of you the, towards the end of you like he knew everything and he already made availability for you to have this identity and then verse 6 it says to the praise of his glorious grace all this is because of his grace grace is unmerited favor it's not like you qualified for it which has freely given us in the one he loves so god gave his best for you because he sees that you are worth it he so much esteems you to be worth it that he gave his only son not just one of his son but his only son to die for you even while you were yet sinner even while you 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 yourself did not see yourself to be worth it but he did it anyway even while you were at the worst point of yourself 
you know the worst state of yourself not when you are doing good not when you are you know when 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 you know you think you got everything together in your mess in the mess that you are in in that pain in that struggle in that in that in that in that part in that place of of, of even feeling self-condemned god is telling you that he gave his only begotten son while you were yet sinner while i was yet sinner so this is just showing you that this is how much value that god has put on you yes you're listening to me how much value that god has put on you he's not waiting for you to be in your good behavior before he gave his only son he gave it even while you were in your worst state in your worst self a sinner he did not do it while he was trying to test to see maybe you'll be worth it no he did it anyway right from the beginning he did it because he loves you and the verse 7 says in him we have redemption through his blood so redemption through his blood which blood the blood of jesus the blood of the son that he has given so when we are being able to be grateful to what god has done for who god is the sacrifice god has made for you you begin to see yourself in a different light your perspective will change you begin to yourself in a way because you begin to see yourself in the way God sees you you will not see yourself as an identity you will not see yourself as a mistake you will not see yourself as the past you will not see yourself as the, as the things that you have been through but you will see yourself as the way God as the way God sees you right from the beginning so redemption through his blood so now you are forgiven you have been bought with a price you have been set free from the bondage of the past or mistakes of the past you are forgiven completely not partially but completely he actually remembers no more he remembers your sin no more like your sins are completely forgotten you can say oh god completely has like a dementia of the things that you have done like he remembers it no more so why are you still remembering them so that's a question for you to ponder in. Why are you still allowing the enemy to rob you of your identity in Christ? Why are you not partaking of this identity? Because when you are able to be grateful for who God is, for what he has done, you'll be able to see your identity in him. So the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Again, all this he did because of his grace, because of who he is. Not because of who you are, because you are <laughs> none, none of us deserve it, you know. Out of the womb, we have been considered a sinner. It is in sin that our parents conceived us. So it's not because of what we have done, and that's why it makes it amazing. It's because of the love that He has for us, because of who He is, because God is love, because God is full of mercy, because God is full of is gracious, is faithful. Even while we are not faithful, He is faithful. So when we begin to appreciate who God is, it will change our perspective. It will change, it will open our eyes to see our true identity in Christ. So why did God did why did God do this? Because of His love, because of His mercy, because He is God, because He loves you. So why do you hate yourself? When God has done all of this to show that he loves you. Why are you still blaming yourself? Why are you still putting yourself on the back or on the ground? Allowing the things that, are, that you are going through to put you, on, put you down. Why? Don't allow it. When God sees, God sees so much value in you, he, that he loves you. He has given you clothes for your nakedness. So why continue to be naked? Why are you continuing to be naked when God has made available unto you clothing for your nakedness? He has covered your nakedness. He says, I see your sin no more. So why is it that you are not experiencing this love? Perhaps because your eyes have not been open to see what God has done for you. Your eyes have not been open to appreciate the thing who God is, the essence of God. To actually believe in the sacrifice that he has made and then we look at verse 8 of Ephesians 1 and it says that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding so nothing is a secret for you for you are now a son or daughter he is able to reveal things to you he reveals secret things to those that he loves you are you are you are a daughter you are a son of the most high God so he does not hide secret things from you and then verse 9 says, He made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure. 
good pleasure which he proposed in Christ. God has made known everything concerning his word to you through his word. His word is a gift from God, the word of God, the Bible, everything that you need to know. There is no, oh, I don't know. Actually, you should know because the Bible tells you everything that you need to know. Everything that you need to know is in the Bible. Only if we can actually open and read it. He has given us access to who he is through his word and through Jesus. His word is not something that you have to go to Israel to search and search, you know, and get the word of God. It's actually accessible to, to us in every means. On the phone, paper, you can get the Bible from the dollar store. There is no excuse. Everything has been made available to us. His will has been made available to us. He's able to reveal to us and give us understanding of the scripture. Talking about gratitude and your identity. So, so you are not existing for existence sake. You are not just occupying space. You are not just a random person, you know, that just came down, you know, no. You are here for a purpose. You are, you're, you're, you're created for a greater purpose. You know, you are, great, you are created for a greater purpose than your mistakes or failure. There is still a purpose in that pain that you might have been through, in that situation, in that abuse, in that neglection, in that hurt, in that, in that, in that, in that, in that awful experience that you might have been through there is still a purpose in that it is not just something that you know now it's the end of your story no it's the beginning of your story if you will just allow jesus into the picture only if you can see it by seeking the one who knows it all and who is that god god and then we can go to verse 11 and it says in him we were also chosen having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will and then verse 12 in order that we who were the first to put our hope in christ might be for the praise of his glory so that is also telling you that you are good enough to give glory to god you are created to give the almighty god the creator of the universe praise your existence matter for it is to give god praise you are created to give god praise you are not just you know you are not just there you have a purpose you are you are made for a purpose you are created for a greater good so just think about it god is being praised because of your existence if only you will actually see this and you begin to live and carry yourself in such manner that yes I am created for a purpose. I am not just here just for the fun of it. And you also were included in Christ, Christ, verse 13. When you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised only spirit. You bear the mark of God. You have God's, own, God's ownership right in you. You have the evidence that you belong to God. There is a seal on you, an authentication on you saying that you belong to God. That is your identity. That is your identity. But like I said, you can only see that when you have an attitude of gratitude to who God is and to who God has made you to be. And then finally, verse 14, it says, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance so that means there is a guaranteed an inheritance for you even when the world ends and everything disappears there is a great inheritance awaiting you you have a hope that cannot be taken away from you not even death because for you even when you die yet you do not die but live on to glory and live on to glory so you might be asking asking yourself this sounds so good. This is so good. I, I just, wow, is this, this is all me? This is, yeah, it's true. That is who you are. So you might be asking, how can I be able to walk, you know, be this? How? Because all this sounds so good. And where are you getting all this from? It's from the Bible. The answer is Jesus, you know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him, you see, he loves the whole world. God has done his own part by giving his only begotten son. Your whole part is to believe in his son, Jesus. And then you'll be able to activate this true identity. You'll be able to activate this new identity. You'll be able to become that son and daughter of God. And you'll be able to claim this identity according to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and many other that is written in the word of God. 
So the key word is believing in Jesus. The key word is accepting him and receiving his name and believing in his name. Just like it says in John 1 verse 12. Yet to all who did receive him, Jesus, and to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. So that is really it. It's so simple. You receive him, Jesus, and you believe in his name, Jesus, and then you are now a child of God. So, what is it that you're waiting for? What is it that you're waiting for? To experience this true identity in God, you need to be grateful for what God has done. And you need to receive that which God has done for you. You need to receive Jesus. You need to accept Jesus. You need to like the devil will not rob you of your identity. And you can change your perspective of who you are. And to do that is... Just say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I know that I am a sinner. Please forgive me, for I need a savior. I accept you as my Lord and savior. And I, and, and, and I believe in the work that you have done on the cross. Please forgive me for all my sins and write my name in the book of life. I want to know you more and I want to be closer to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I believe by the word of God, after this confession, after and believing with your heart, you are now a child of God. For that is what the word of God says. It's so simple, but it's powerful. So congratulations. So now, just be grateful for what God has done. Be grateful for who God is. And be grateful for the sacrifice that God has made by giving his only begotten son. So that you, yes, you watching this video, can be a child of God. So congratulations. Don't forget to share this video for it will bless so many more people as well. And comment and like your God bless you until next time.